it is the poorer segments of the population that are paying the price of the shutdown. The real recovery will come from the development of quick testing. So the banks will be will be in terrible shape. 全球的经济和贸易都受到了疫情的冲击，那各个国家都纷纷推出了积极的财经政策来应对。那这些政策是否会奏效呢？我们今天就请到了美国加州大学戴维斯分校经济系教授胡永泰先生给我们做分析解读。Professor, how's the situation in California now? How has this pandemic affected the Silicon Valley companies, the tech companies? Well, it certainly has、uh, caused the freeways. To be no longer crowded, but the people who are suffering are not the tech companies. The big problem is are with the service industries, like restaurants, tourism. The question is, the high tech people are not losing their job, and unlikely to lose their job. But it is the poorer segments of the population that are paying the price. Of the shop. How do you think these technologies and tech companies can help people recover from this pandemic in terms of、uh, changing people's lifestyles and、uh, adjusting to what the pandemic has caused? I don't think technology companies can help us recover quicker from COVID-19 because the real recovery will come from. The development of quick testing kits, you know, so that you can know within five minutes whether the person has the disease or not. The vaccine is unlikely to come before one year, but there will be a big change in the world. But as far as the online, the online companies, the internet companies become more important than before because there'll be a shift of a lot of economic activities online. This may well be a turning point in the way that a lot of industries deliver their services. Education is, I think, going to be hastening、uh, a lot more、uh, online instruction. Healthcare will be also moved more and more online. The third one is of course retail, because most people will be ordering more goods. On platforms, and here comes a policy question. Right now, most shopping platforms have been monopolized by a few companies. It's hard to think of an alternative to Amazon in the United States. Just like it's hard to think of an alternative to Alibaba in China, and the kind of、uh, very big internet company monopolizing a particular industry. That. We have to think about how to make that more competitive. Do you have any advice for China and the rest of the world in terms of what type of financial stimulus they can adopt to help themselves to get out of the pandemic and recover quickly? I think there can be no advice that will cause zero. That will be able to offset the decline in production. The decline in production is inevitable because people are not working. When people are not working, decline falls. So this is what we call a supply side shock. A demand shock would be like, let us say, the banking failure, so credit collapse, so people cannot get credit to buy things. So that would be a demand collapse, and in a demand collapse,、uh, fiscal and monetary policy will try to raise demand to be in line with the underlying supply. So that is what we call stabilization use. But in this case, this is both a supply and demand shock. So it means that the government must get involved in able to. Sub, uh, transfer income to the very poor people and to the unemployed. And the other thing is, the central bank 
must tell the banks to roll over the loans to companies. Not new loans, roll over. In other words, whatever they had borrowed, you, they don't have to return it immediately as a scheduled. In other words, a debt moratorium. Because you want the firms to stay alive during that period. So the banks will be, will, will be in terrible shape. So in the end, the world, the government will have to help the banks to write off all the private debts. And for the public debts, they would have to print money to finance the deficit and get it over with. So we are facing a big management crisis after the pandemic is over.